And then we need to win Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> to beat Bournemouth. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> maybe next one. <laughs> I cannot confirm. I cannot confirm. <laughs> I was going to say Brian's leaving, Adrian's leaving, Emma's leaving. Are you leaving? <laughs> that is the next <laughs> news. <laughs> No, I think it's really important for us to, to finish in the way that we we are doing now. And I think with the confidence and the in the way that we uh, were playing in the last few months. And I think uh, it's really important for the team, it's really important for the player, for the club, uh, to be close, to achieve, you know, one of the objectives that was to play in Europe next, uh, next season. And if things go your way, in terms of results elsewhere as well, even potentially... I think the most important now is to sing and to perform and, and to try to beat, you know, to be sure that we are going to compete in the best way. Um, again, Bournemouth, Bournemouth is going to be a really tough game because they are doing so well. Raul uh, is, is doing a fantastic job. Um, and yes, it's tough, but I think the most important is to finish well and, and see after if we have the chances to to get the place. Uh, being fifth, I think, it will be amazing for us. Will you No, no, really. Um, we need to do our shop and to after and see what is going on. But um, I never wish uh, bad things to to the to the opponent. Always is about to deserve to win or hope that uh, you know uh, we can take advantage of the maybe a situation or a result that can give us or give us the possibility to be in a better place. Look, uh, I don't expect uh, nothing. If at, after it's natural things happen, welcome. But if not, it's not a problem. I always are going to care about the fans and always are going to show my respect. That is the most important thing. The relationship is. We always try to be very respectful, uh, and we are very respectful. We understand very well this business that in football, the fans is, are the best thing that. I can have, you know, uh, a football club, um, and that is why they are entitled to get, give their opinion in different ways. You need to respect them, like a coach in Israel, because we are here because of them. The majority of fans, we know that social media is very noisy and phone ins are very Yeah, but noisy. even the social media now is being nice with, with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can really see most fans. <laughs> Yeah, but that's, it's, it, it's not a revenge, it's not nothing wrong, uh, no bad feelings, because the most important is that we are we are working for the club, we are working for them, you know, for the owner, for the player, for the club, for the fans. The most important is to make happy them, because that is in the business that we are, and, and, and we play for them, and we want to win for them, and we want to achieve the things that they want also, but... It's normal. I think we need to understand and we need to respect our fans, uh, their opinion. And it's uh, in us to to change these feelings and build a relationship. Always is, is tough, even when you have a, a history. Um, and of course, they need to trust in us. And in the only way that they can trust in us is through the result. No, because the process and the perf on the of the work that we are doing here inside, you know, and it's difficult for them to really to. Not to pay attention, but yes, to analyze or to shush, because they don't know what we are doing every single day. Um, that is why sometimes, you know, the coaches we show uh, in front of you in, in a different way, because yeah, because only we know in the way that we work. And sometimes when the result not arrive, it's like a, we are disappointed and frustrated. And, but look, that is in the way that we wanted to change the the view and the opinion and happy that the team is showing that the, the fan can trust in, in the team. You're welcome. John, BBC. 
Kilo. Um, you mentioned the earlier, I saw some quotes from Pogba who's saying that we need to be patient, it's not just easy, isn't it? Yes, um, yes, always, you know, it's, it's important to have the, the back of the, the owners, and then they are the, the bosses. And, and of course, um, because it's the best for the club and it's the best for the for the player and for the fans. And then we all re- we know very well that coaches uh, always is, is we are shush about the the result about the in a very short period, you know. Um, but yes, yes, I, I I think it's it's important to feel you know the the back of the owner. What would you say needs to be done over? Ah, that is a ah, that is a is a subject to talk and between the sporting director and of course the owner or the part of involved at um, trying to to see how we can you know uh, football is a very dynamic sport that uh, always is about to the thing can change and and yes we are working in, to plan you know the strategy for for summer and then for the preseason and and then to start the season in in the best condition. And how would you reflect back on the season? Have you enjoyed it? Has it been frustrating at times? Is Yeah, because of the circumstances was tougher than the we we saw. But um, that because circumstances that sometimes you cannot manage, you know, that is not in your hands. But I think uh, in the way that we are finished the the season, I think is I am happy about that. Um, a little bit unlucky, you feel disappointed because I think one month or two months more competition, maybe we can you know be very close to the top position. And that is why we are, we feel a little bit disappointed, but uh, yeah, but happy because I think uh, to finish in this way uh, give us the hope to start well, you know, uh, and strong next season, and with the capacity, you know, from the beginning of the season uh, to to have the possibility to fight for big things. My vote? No, I know. No, no, I'm not. I'm not involved in this. In this process, only I can give my opinion. My opinion is I, I like the VAR. The only that we need to improve is, is in the way that we use, you know, the VAR. That is for me is the key. But I, uh, I think we need to be open in the, the and to welcome the the new technology. And I think it's good for the for football. It's, it's not only to design, you know, the best strategy to to improve in the way that we use the VAR. You're welcome. Good afternoon. Hello. Um, Tactic? Question? Huh? Tactic? No, not today. Not today. Shocking, I know, I know. I was thinking, Mark, I didn't have one today. Um, but I was yeah, thinking but today. Yeah, but... Um, I understand. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tactic? Yeah. Question? Yeah. Tactic? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Paris Saint Germain or the team is Southampton in Spain for me. That is the first thing that is being respectful with the club and of course with our fans and with the owner and everyone. I am not this type of person that say no, it's my team. What means my team? I think uh, people offer uh, to work, you know, in a club to try to translate, you know, and to build some something together, and that is in the way that we love to to work. And of course, we time uh, because football is is very uh, emotional. It's an emotional. <laughs> like what we, we maybe we repeat too much, but I think it's a context of of emotion, and I think it's, it's true. It's how the coaching staff feel, or we are, is how we translate in the way that we wanted to play. And of course, we are a, a coaching staff that we try to translate. You know, to be brave, uh, to be protagonist. You know, to be aggressive. I think we have one of the best build up. You know, in the Premier League. But uh, yes, that is the way that we feel. If you say to me, if you ask me, I am happy now on the end of the season in the way that the, the team evolve and the, in the individual way and in collective, yes, I am so happy because I seen in the last part of the season or in the last 20 or 26 or 27 game, I seen, you know, if we start to come from there, I think we are in the top four. So happy, but still it's not enough. And we want to evolve, we want to improve. And, but it's true. I am so so proud because with all the circumstances in the way that we are going to finish the season, I think it's about to be you know proud about the player, about very you know full credit to them because they are really pushing really hard when the pro when problems were there and was no easy you know to deal with that. I think full credit to them and full credit to the, all the coaching staff you know on, and the staff because I think we were dealing. You know, very well, and always we keep calm, and always uh, in a. And you know very well because I think after Brian know very well that after thirty no uh, coaches that <laughs> were here sitting, I think the most important thing is is to have the capacity to deal with the situation when uh, you work really hard and the result not arrive, and to be in this moment, you know, to to keep the balance is the most difficult thing. I think every single day is a challenge to to learn to learn about you and about your people, and I think every single uh, situation. I think for us is an experience that we want to <laughs> now help me Cap capitalize, capitalize. How is the yeah. capitalize on capitalize yeah. capitalize because uh, no because, no, because um, I'm going to add some uh, funny thing because my my wife said. Uh, Capable is capable, no? It's different. But capable. Capable. Oh, yeah. And I, I always in, I say capa capable, and he said my wife, no. Capable. Capable. And, and she, no, always in, in behind me. No, I, and I think it's important. The experience is, um, yeah, you are not going to be bored here with, with me, but I think yeah, it's important. It's important to learn from every single situation. I think it's uh, football, very dynamic sport. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're welcome. Talk sport. I'm Rick Say. Hope you're well. Um, what would your message be to the fans? Because it seems like this year, throughout this year, they've really started to see what this Chelsea team could become and are really excited by the trajectory the club are going on at the minute and what could happen in the seasons to come after this one. Oh, my message is, uh, like always, is, is to trust in the process, is to trust in, in on the team. And I think... Uh, Yes, we, we feel the responsibility, you know, to deliver our show. And, and yes, we are 200% commitment to, to deliver the, the best show for, for the club. Obviously, Rhys James was sent off in the week and will miss a couple of games to start next season. It's been a difficult season for him for injuries, which he's spoken about in some of his posts online. I wonder just after the sending off in the week, have you, have you spoken to him just about how, how difficult this year has, has been for him? Yeah, it was a very difficult season, but he now... We need to help to, to him to move on and and then to accept the punishment that for sure will be you know there in the next uh, few days. But I think um, the most important is uh, we back him and we trust on him and for sure he he need to be ready for the precision you know to start to 
to train and to build his you know his fitness and and then the talent is there and, and for sure next season he's going to be for sure one of the best players again on the on the Premier League. And, and lastly, this weekend will be Thiago Silva's last game with, with Chelsea. How much will he be missed next season? And is that maybe an area you might look to strengthen this summer with him? Maybe? Yeah, we are going to miss him like we are going to miss Brian and and of course Adrian. Okay. <laughs> and no, no, of, of course, always is a no Thiago. Fantastic career here in no in his career, but it's, oh, I'm here in Chelsea, and for sure we are going to miss and and yes, uh, always with a big character, uh, leave the club, I'm going to leave the club. As in we are going to miss all. Right, best luck this weekend. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Rob, PA. Uh, how much is this run form you're on now a response to the defeat to Arsenal last month? Because No, it's not a coincidence. Yes, it's not a coincidence. I think before to play Arsenal, we played Manchester City, but before we play Everton, and I think we made one of the best performance, you know, in the on the season, six 0 to Everton beating. And then I think, uh, if you remember, because now I think we cannot we can we cannot forget that too many injuries and the team was really, you know, um, I think. Uh, with no time to recover it. I think we played Saturday and the disappointment after the Manchester City in the FA Cup semi-final on Wembley, I think, was was really tough to assimilate. And then to play Tuesday again, you know, Arsenal, I think the team wasn't ready because I think was tired in in both, you know, uh, side that was physicality and, and, of course, mental. And I think the first half was even. One nil down, but the second half when we concede the third goal, I think a little bit go up, and that maybe make you know the situation um, an unfair, describe an unfair you know a period of a good performance because of this result. But I think uh, that was that was that happened this result, and and then the team started to show the same was you know in behind because the performance with Manchester City was fantastic. I think we deserve to go to the final to the final. And then the Everton performance was amazing. That only was, you know, a bad day in the office. You no, know, how you say here, no? Bad day on the office, but all the team can happen. You talked about the players needing time to grow and mature. Did that result and the nature of that result accelerate that process? All help. I think all the experience help, for sure. Always uh, in a negative it depends how you approach the, the things. I think if you, a negative things that happen, um, you can turn and and be positive, you know, for your experience, for your future. And I think it's depend of your attitude. That is about your how how you, you approach the every single situation that happen. Bowman, you're welcome. Yes, but we are tired. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> the staff is tired. Maybe player because you know when you are injured, you can rest a little bit. You are at home. You don't travel. You know. Uh, but the staff, the self, the whole staff, 50, 60 people that working here, the self uh, are rest. But it's true. Now, you know, being serious, I think is. Yes, it's true that we. The most important is that we uh, start to feel that we can compete in different way, and I think in, in in the way that we are competing and how we are evolving, that make us to feel really, really exciting for the next season. That okay. is the, the best, the most important thing, and of course, uh, to reach, you know, to yeah, to achieve, you know, to play in Europe next season would be amazing. And we need uh, still one game to play, but I think. Um, we can achieve if we compete like in the last few weeks. Last two in this section, Simon and then Bobby to finish. Hey, uh, will Len Kuku start on Sunday? Because I think he played more than we expect because of uh, the problem with uh, Mudrich. I see he plays 70 minutes, maybe a little bit longer than we, we planned. 
I think tomorrow we are going to assess him if he can start. Well, for sure, 90 minutes is difficult for him to play, and then we play uh, Wednesday and play the Sunday again. And if you don't have one week, the, the break to, to recovery, I think, was a little bit shorter. Um, we need to not to take risks, you know. If we, with the performance area and the medical staff, we will take the, the best decision for him first and then for the team. Uh, because, yes, it's easy now to go to say and start the game to play, but we cannot take the, the risk because I think uh, he needs to finish well with good feelings and then to start the, the preseason also like a similar situation like the three games. Yeah. And I think midweek, if Klaus reached 100 goals in all the competitions under you this season, do you feel like one of the things you brought to Chelsea as manager is you brought entertaining football back to Chelsea? I, uh, I am not this type of coaches that love to show in public that I love myself, you know, I am not, I don't want to use a word, but I am not arrogant, you know, and to say <laughs> we are playing entertainment football, I think we play the football that we, we feel, and that is too many coaches, we share the same idea of football, but it's not only our idea about entertainment football, I think, look, um, we love to attack, we love to be protagonists, that is in the way that, but we respect all the way to play in football. Because football is too many ways, you know, to approach. And all is football and football is, is amazing in different ways. And it's not because now it's fashion to play in, in some ways. If you're not playing this way, you don't know nothing about football. Football have different way to, to approach. Thank you. Last question in this section, Bobby. Hi, Mauricio. Hello. At Christmas, you were eight points behind the top six, and it was inconceivable that you'd be able to finish in that kind of position. Yes. You managed to turn it around. You only, only but we believe, eh? We believe that you, we can be there. You've only lost three games since Christmas. What was the turning point, and how proud are you of your group of players? No, the turning point wasn't a turning point. I think it was the, the process to work. And, and keep pushing and believing in, in the way that we work. I think when everyone wants to attack you, attack, you know, uh, because people won't wrestle um, yesterday, you know, and no, they don't show patience, you know, I think that is the most important thing. That is why the experience is really important in, in life, like in football. Um, no doubt about... Uh, yourself, no doubt about in the way that you you plan to to work and to play, and no doubt, you know, because uh, sometimes we don't get what we want in in to fight everything because you know because football is about to believe, it's about to give time to build the the links in between you know the players and and because our experience uh, we project you know. Uh, the player, sometimes we can be wrong, but a more experience and more capacity, more knowledge and more capacity to in, the, the intuition, you know, and we were seeing that only was only a matter of time that we can improve and, and to perform better and to get the result that we wanted. Thank you. Second. Cameras off, please. Ah, oh, we have another session. <laughs> Great,